We are living in unprecedented times. Climate change is threatening a mass species extinction. And the global pandemic is shutting the world down in ways we might never have imagined. World leaders seem to be completely confused. And there is more division in the United States since the Civil War. Meanwhile, our options to connect in community have radically decreased. Closed restaurants, no sporting events, no dance events, no festivals, social distancing, masks when in public. Oh, these are hard times for many of us. I have been working with ecologists and scientists who tell me that if bugs and bees and insects and bacteria and viruses disappeared from our planet, all life would cease in five years. If humans disappeared from our planet, all life would flourish on this planet in five years. But it is also a time that we are being called upon to step up and each of us to play our roles in awakening consciousness. Yes, we are the ones we've been waiting for. And this is the time we've been preparing for. We have consumed almost to the extent where we cannot consume much longer. But the caterpillar goes into this state where everything breaks down into chaos. If you were to look inside, it's mush. It is this thick, sticky, gooey mush that looks like total chaos from inside. But then this beautiful thing begins to happen. A few specialized cells begin to awaken before the others do. They begin to awaken and recognize that something new is possible. And they are in fact called in biology, the imaginal cells. And it is those imaginal cells that inform all of the other cells in the, in the sticky gooey mush that something greater is possible and they become the organizing principle that allows the other cells then to align following what the imaginal cells now have shared as possible. Everyone in our audience tonight, everyone tuning in, everyone on this panel and many others that may not even know are the imaginal cells in our collective awakening. Since the beginning of the pandemic, a dynamic inspirational variety show captivates thousands of viewers every week. Welcome to Saturday Night Alive for the Global Peace Tribe. Our guests have included dozens of inspirational speakers, such as Deepak Chopra and Greg Braden, who you just heard from. Another popular speaker who has appeared multiple times is Marianne Williamson. You and I are already programmed to become the highest, most creative manifestation of our potential in this life. Each show provides two or three musical performers. I know we're gonna be about freedom. You and we do our best, put you to the test, do the best you can, we'll do the best you can. Every situation, do the best you can, we'll do the best you can, we'll do the best you can. Every situation, do the best you can. Do good, 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 till goodness becomes you. Yeah, 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 we shall be the peacemakers. We also offer creative expressions, such as magic. Here we go, let's count to three. Everybody, here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> Solved, yes. And even a popular ventriloquist. Trees are three, red roses too. I see them blue. Each show has a specific theme, often correlating with what's happening in our world, such as Earth Day and environmental sustainability. In a deep, primordial part of ourselves, many of us have been waiting for something like this to happen. Someone or something powerful and sacred enough 
had to intervene in order to stop the destruction of the sources of life. Like the imaginal cells coming together to create a butterfly, there are many organizations that collaborate to make this show happen. Our producing partners include Harmony Online, the Love Coach Academy, the New Living Expo, the Conscious Life Expo, Teresa Collins' Global Coherence, and Jay Mayer's Light Touch. So on behalf of my producing partner, Deborah Giusti, I am Love Coach Scott Katamas, and I'm inviting you to join us every week for Saturday Night Alive for the Global Peace Tribe.